Today, I'm going to show you how to get Molly working in your Shopware 6 web shop. The first thing I need to do is to create a Molly account. To do this, I go to molly.com. Here I see Accept Online Payments Today, which is exactly what I want, so I'll just click Sign Up. I fill in some details, select Yes, and click Create Account. Now I'm in the Molly dashboard and I click Activate Account. To activate my account, I need to give Molly information about my company, such as its legal form and VAT number. Molly uses this to verify that my company is legit. I've already created an account for my demo web shop, so I'm going to skip this bit. In creating my account, I can choose from a wide variety of global and local payment methods, including credit cards, wallets and online banking. I need to activate payment methods in my Molly account before I can use them in my Shopware webshop. Now I'm going to install the Molly extension. Before doing that, however, I first have to download it from GitHub. For your convenience, I've included the URL you need in the description below. I'm going to download the latest version. Now I need to upload the Molly extension into my Shopware backend. Once I've logged in, I upload by going to the My Extensions page and clicking Upload Extension, followed by Confirm. I select the zip file I downloaded from GitHub and click Open. Now I can install, and this is really easy. All I have to do is click Install App and activate the Molly Payments extension by switching on this toggle. My Molly account contains API keys that I need for the Molly extension to work now that I've installed it. To access the keys, I click API keys in my Molly dashboard. Here I see two API keys. This, the live API key, will only be visible once Molly has approved my account, but in the meantime, I'll be using this, the test API key. What I do now is copy my test API key and go back to my Shopware backend. To connect with Molly, I go to the Molly configuration page where I paste the test API key that I copied from my Molly account. Then I switch on test mode and click save. To configure the various payment methods, I click settings, payment, and then the payment method I want. I'm happy with the default settings, so I'm going to leave things as they are. The last thing I do is tell Shopware which Molly payment methods I want to offer in my web store. I click Storefront, add the payment method I want, and then click Save. To test if my Molly payments work and to see what things look like, I go to my Shopware web store. I want to buy a jacket, so I click Clothing. I add the product I want to the shopping cart and click Proceed to checkout. Here I see that Molly automatically makes sure that the payment methods I want appear in my checkout. I select credit cards, accept the terms of service and submit the order. Now I see an in-between screen that my customers won't see. Because I'm in test mode, Molly allows me to simulate various payment statuses. I set the status to paid and click continue. This is what my customers will see after they've successfully paid. Following payment, Molly sends a confirmation email to me, the merchant. I want to be sure everything's gone well end to end, so I go back to my Shopware backend, click Orders, and then Overview. Here I see that the order was placed, and if I click on the order number, I see all its details, including Molly info. When my Molly account has been approved, I'll receive my live API key. All I need to go live with real customer purchases is to copy my Live API key and go to my Shopware settings, where I paste it in the Live API key field, switch off test mode, and click Save. Business time.